Welcome to this digital anarchy tutorial going over the basics of Beautybox 5 for Premiere and After Effects. Beautybox is a skin retouching and smoothing effect that uses a mask to track skin tones and only apply the effect where you want it, and is GPU accelerated for faster rendering. You can download Beautybox and use it as a demo with a watermark on our website, digitalanarchy.com. From the demos page, this version of Beautybox works in both Premiere and After Effects. Once you install it, you can find the effect in the effects panel in Premiere under Video Effects Digital Anarchy, and in After Effects in the Effects and Presets under Digital Anarchy. If the effect doesn't show up, make sure to restart Premiere and After Effects after installing since the effect loads when Premiere and After Effects start up. And just drag it onto your clip to apply the effect. It's going to ask you if you want to authorize or use the demo version. And if you click demo, you can use Beautybox with these watermark lines over the footage to see how it works for your shots. And once you buy a license, you can activate it with your serial number to remove the watermark. Enter your name. You can leave this organization blank and enter your serial number. Click OK to activate it and the watermark should disappear. If it doesn't disappear right away, just click to a different frame in your timeline or composition and you should see it disappear. You can reopen the registration info by clicking the setup button in the top right of the beauty box controls in the effect controls panel in Premiere, or the register button in the top right corner of the effect controls in After Effects. If it's already registered, this will just show your registration information. If you want to remove the beauty box license from this computer, you can just click deactivate in this menu and it returns to demo mode. Beautybox has two basic steps, creating the mask, which figures out what parts of the shots to apply the smoothing to, and then adjusting how the smoothing looks. The quickest way to start using Beautybox after it's applied is to click the Analyze Frame button in the effect controls. What this does is run face detection algorithms to figure out where the skin tones are. After you click Analyze Frame, click the Show Mask checkbox to see what parts of the frame Beautybox detected as skin tones. White areas are included in the mask and black areas are excluded, so any white areas you see here are going to be affected by the Beautybox settings you use, and any black areas aren't going to be affected. If an area is gray, it's going to get some of the effect, but not 100%. You can scroll through the footage to see that the mask follows the skin tones when the subject moves, which makes it very easy to apply quickly. You don't have to adjust it frame by frame or anything like that. This is a really fast way to identify skin tones and works for a lot of situations. You can turn off show mask and then adjust the smoothing amount control to get the amount of smoothing you want and a lot of the time that's going to be good enough. You can turn the effect on and off to see the difference between the original version and the beauty box version and then tweak the smoothing amount to just how much smoothing is applied. There's also a skin detail smoothing slider, which changes how much individual details on the skin like pores and lines are smoothed out. You can decrease this to bring back some of the detail that can get lost when you increase the smoothing amount or increase it to make the subject look more airbrushed. The contrast enhance slider adds contrast and sharpening to areas where beauty box might be smoothing too much. You can balance these sliders to get a look that you're satisfied with. You can crank the settings up high to get a more smoothed over look or turn it down for a more subtle effect. Beautybox is designed to let you quickly make a mask and adjust smoothing, but you can also spend more time tweaking some of these settings to get the mask more precise. There are a few ways to do this. One is to change the mode to set color or add color. On set color, you can click on the frame and the mask will include any parts of the frame that use those colors. Changing the mode to add color will include any colors you click on in the mask, so you can turn on show mask and click any areas that aren't included to add them to the mask. You can click analyze frame or switch the mode back to set color to start over if you add too much and then switch back to add color to build the mask. And you want to get the parts of the frame that you want to smooth as white as possible and the parts that you don't want to smooth as close to black as possible so that you're adding smoothing to the skin and not adding smoothing to other parts you of the You usually want to include the skin, but not things like hair, eyes, and teeth. If nothing happens when you select set color and click on the frame, 
just click the beauty box effect name in the effect controls panel so that beauty box is active and then click in the frame. You can adjust the mask more by tweaking these hue range, saturation range, and value range sliders, which you can turn up to increase the area of the mask or turn down to decrease the area of the mask. Use these settings to get the mask as close to where you want it to be as you can if clicking analyze frame isn't quite accurate enough. In addition to smoothing, you can also use this mask to add color correction. Open the color correction section in the effect controls and check the use mask box if you want the color correction to only apply to the mask area. A small adjustment in hue can add a warmer or cooler tone to the skin. You can also use the preset dropdown to add a variety of stylized looks. And like with the smoothing, these effects will track the subject using the mask that you created. And finally, the shine removal slider can be used to reduce glare reflecting off of your subject's skin. You'll also want to make sure that the use GPU checkbox at the bottom of the effect controls is checked. This means that Beautybox is using your computer's graphics card to speed up rendering. If it's unchecked, Beautybox will render more slowly. The reason you might want to turn it off is if you're encountering any glitches or issues while using Beautybox, you can turn off use GPU to see if that gets around the problem and send us an email at cs at digitalanarchy.com and we'll help you get it working with use GPU. Normally it will just work with use GPU on, which is going to be the fastest way to render Beautybox and you won't have to mess with this. You can download a free trial of Beautybox at our website, digitalanarchy.com by going to the demos page and email us at sales at digitalanarchy.com if you have any questions.